morning how are you guys doing let's open the garage up um because today we are heading down to monaco and i'm vlogging this is gonna be another vlog i haven't done a vlog in a while so hopefully this isn't gonna be like really awkward and unsmooth i hopefully haven't lost my groove it's a very nice day today it's kind of chilly but it's nice and sunny and i was going to take the twizzy down however i decided i'm going to take the lotus the only issue is i've started filming a how to take the roof off my lotus car and i can't figure out how to put it back on so i'm going to try and do that quickly now and finish filming that video and if i can't i'm going to have to just drive and hope it doesn't rain and hope i just don't freeze my ass off but what are we doing today we are going to go pick up with a friend of mine who has a youtube channel as well donza 93 a very very special new toy of his so i'm gonna head down to the lambo dealership and we're gonna get started on the collection day of a brand new lamborghini hurricane all right i have done it i think i'm just putting a tool back in the back there i think i've done it, it took me about 20 minutes i'm now really really late it doesn't look like i've done it properly i'm not sure Will it fly off? I don't know, but I'm late, so I'm gonna just go and head down to Lamborghini anyways. Driving down then, and I'm not convinced I've put this roof on properly because the windows aren't closed all the way. There's a little crack between the roof and the windows. And it is quite noisy in here. It's not that cold. Like, surprisingly, it's not cold. I don't even have the heating on. I should probably put that on. But yeah, no, it's really not that bad, like, in terms of heat and stuff. The noise, not great. It is quite noisy in here, but kind of to be expected. And yeah, I mean, it kind of reminds me of when I first saw the Murcielago roof. And it was just like a little thing you put on the car. Like basically a little towel you placed above the massive hole in the roof. So that's kind of what this is like. And I have to speak quite loud for you to hear me because or else I fear you would have no idea what I was saying. Having like a good morning blast down the hill though. Oh yeah, now you can start to hear wind noise. As soon as you start accelerating a bit. It's not even, it's like 80 kilometers an hour. It's a 90 zone. So I can do that, but that's crazy. 80 kilometers an hour and it's already very noisy. Yeah, no, something's not right. Okay, I am now down in Monaco and I'm with this man, Donze93. As you know, you need to go subscribe to him, do all that stuff. Instagram. Instagram as well, Donze093. And we're here to pick up, boom, his Lamborghini Huracan, Rosso Mars. I mean, they've seen this car already, because remember in the last vlog, we put this car in it, but how are you feeling? I'm so excited about it. I can imagine. Dude, you're it's picking up a Lambo today. Personal plate. Personal plate. So I think I remember, this is 5 My for mom. May. Yeah. 93, your date of birth. Yeah. And Donze. Yes, of course. Ella. And then, dude, it looks so cool. And you're going to do the wheels black, right? Yeah. And the yeah, windows. The Look. <gasps> oh, the Donze D. The Donze D. And inside you got the red stitching. It's brand new. 99 kilometers, right? Yes. Something like that. Dude, it is so cool. It is so cool. It has that smell. You got the nice little logo up here. The hurricane with the Italian flag down in the carpet. Yeah, we did the Batman. <laughs> the, one the Batman. On all the cars. Oh yeah, on all his cars he has this little Batman sign. <laughs> I love the way you came here with it already. You're not, you, you refuse to drive the car without the Batman sign. Dude, absolutely incredible. And we're gonna go like drive it around a bit, right? In Monaco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your carbon composite here. 610 horsepower. And a so lot of noise. Look here, I can change this one. Oh, oh yeah. you can change the, oh yeah. It's looking, it's very cool. That's so sick. That is so sick. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun. I can't wait for the tunnels. Yeah. Don't crash on your first day. <laughs> That's all I ask. Now, let's get all the papers signed and everything and take this baby out of here. I had to move my car to go park all the way over there, but walking back, I just spotted a cheeky TDF in the Ferrari dealership. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, up to Lambo to go pick this car up. Oh, nice California. This is how you get ready when you got your new car. Put everything in the boot. Already yeah, getting it. Boot, look. No, it's tiny. It's smaller than the Gallardo. Yeah, just a bit one lighter. <laughs> Dude, it's tiny. And then you have the jacket. 
it's a problem to put the jar. Dude, actually, that's all you can fit. <laughs> and then, wait, I need to show them the telepass. <laughs> so look, I showed you earlier, they have the, their, their Batman logo. And then even on their like highway, motorway pass, so they've got the Batman thing. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. They've got Alcantara here as well. Man, I can't wait to hear it. It's yes. going to be so sick. The moment of truth. when they just got a Lamborghini delivered. Look at him. <laughs> He's a happy man. He's a very happy man. It's <laughs> crazy. The lights outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, bah, it's, it's like a it's spaceship. It's the same inside. Yeah, so yeah. the lights of the, of yeah. the No, it's so cool. This is yours. Hello. <laughs> I have come back to my car then. And we are going to go meet up. Al is taking his new Lambo and we are going to go meet up on the port to take some photos somewhere now. So that's the plan. But hopefully, I'm not going to be too late. This is the crew right here. Oh, focus. There we go. This is the crew. We've got Ali in the Lambo there. This badass Shelby Mustang. <laughs> and the Lotus. Oh yes, his first cheeky little drive. How is it? It's cool? It's, cool. it's, it's unbelievable, cool. Now right? It's like the, the car it's cold, but now Yeah, slowly. you need to chill out a bit, yeah. but no, it yeah. sounded yeah. good in the tunnel, that's for sure. Very nice. It's insane. It's amazing. Look at this crew. <laughs> We're now going for a little cruise. I have taken the roof off of the car, and I think they're calling me, so I've got to go. We've now come to take photos with all the lads. We've lined the cars up. Got a photographer up there. And check out, I haven't shown you this Mustang yet. Shelby Mustang, 5 liter V8. Sounds flipping beast. I love the quad pipes as well, but it's insane. But for sure, the most special car here is definitely the Lambo. No brainer, but they do look nice all lined up. It is cold though, it's clouded over. I'm hoping it won't rain because I don't have a roof, but uh, <laughs> so far so good. They do look nice. A man filming his new car, there he is. Look, he dressed to match his car today, look, with the red, very serious face. I've never seen a man walk more seriously than this. <laughs> hey, we have a funny clip of you. <laughs> so this, this man has boldly given me his key, his first mistake in life. Uh, and then, this is the inside of the car. So, check it out. I'm sure you guys know a lot about uh, the inside of Hurricanes. But, this, oh god, it has that new car smell. There's something as well about Lamborghinis and their smell, which is completely different. But it looks so beast. Like, look at all of these little switches. You've got your lift, traction, hazards, parking sensors. Uh, don't know and windows then you got all of this this is sort of Audi-esque obviously the MMI system then down here you got your parking brake and everything Alcantara on the door red stitching the honeycomb um, sort of effect there and then obviously you got your screen so to start it I've got the key here you just open this press the button I think boom and it comes to life Look at that, that is so cool. That is so cool. And you can change the design as you guys saw earlier. But yeah, no, it definitely feels like a flipping beast. It's so like, kind of like in the Gallardo. I mean, those of you who follow me for a while know I had a Gallardo for like quite a while, for a while. Uh, not my car, it was for a client. But basically the um, windscreen is so sort of like slanted forward and you have no idea where the front of the car is. Cause look, you just can't see the front at all. You can see in the reflection. But yeah, the leather just feels top quality as well. You got your indicators and everything here on the side. You can see that doing there. And then, I don't know how you stop it. Oh, so you swipe left, swipe right, and then you press to stop. And yeah, it looks pretty beast. What does that do? Change. Oh, it changes the, the display. You can't see your speed or anything. I don't know. Ah, yes, look here. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's then you got your speed. Yeah. But where are your revs? Oh yeah. Speed, speed. Oh, here for the, I think here for the revs. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, here for yeah. the revs and here for the... For the speed, oh, okay, yeah. so you just click. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got it, I got it. That's cool, yeah. that's cool. That's really nice. And then here you've got another little screen with all of your temperatures and stuff. And just, oopsie. 
I nearly dropped my camera to stop it. You just click again. Put that back down. Fighter jet S. Fighter jet S. Is that a word? That's definitely not a word. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. This is cool. You got your little sun visor. They're bigger than in the Lotus. You don't have a light. Yeah. Man, I like this a lot. I'm a jealous man. You are very lucky. You want to switch? <laughs> okay, so we are hitting the road, doing a little tour around Monaco, or apparently not, because he's getting out the car. But we've got the Mustang behind. I don't know if you can see that. And then Ali in front. And we are in the Lotus. Put it in neutral, and break on, and see what they got to say. Here we go then, we are now driving around Monaco. We have been joined by a CL, a Mercedes CL. I have the Mustang behind moi. And, oh look, there's a head popping out. <laughs> there's a head popping out of the CL. But this Lambo looks so sick, I find. Look at that head, just cheekily popping out there. Righty-ho! So, lovely, lovely, lovely day out. I am now heading home. I have put the roof on because it was getting pretty, pretty freezing. And also there's some pretty menacing cra crowds, clouds out. I didn't want to be driving back home and it start to rain. So I figured might as well just put the roof on. And if you get the hang of it, this roof, the cloth one, actually really isn't that hard to put on. However, I don't think I've done it properly because there's air coming in and it's definitely not waterproof if it were to rain. So I need to, when I get home, observe and see if I put it on properly. But all for tomorrow, the next day's video, you'll see all the processes of taking the hard top off, putting this top on, everything. So that's all gonna be in an upcoming video. But I do wanna figure it out because if I do go on trips around Europe or whatever, I'm only gonna take this soft top, I think, because I can't store the hard top anywhere. And I'll want to go top down a few times because I'm planning on getting an exhaust and if you have an exhaust and no roof, then that's the bomb, so that's what I'm gonna wanna do. However, if it turns out that this isn't waterproof, that would kinda suck, so I need to figure it out. Ooh, a McCann. There's a lovely spec McCann right there, and that is one of the cars we were considering for my family as like a family daily car. Obviously, because I don't use this car daily. I haven't driven this one in a while since today. I mean, before today. But the McCann is definitely one of the cars we were considering at that. I did go on a trip to Geneva, you guys may remember, where we looked at cars. And we didn't really come to a conclusion. So I think what we're going to do is, when I'm next in Geneva, probably in February or something like that, we're gonna continue our search and hopefully finish it and get a car. But definitely, I think top of my list, would be McCann um, for my mom and my dad and stuff. They do like the SQ5 and the Evoke and stuff like that. So if we can stretch ourselves to the McCann, I think we'll do it. But we're never sure because they're very expensive still, McCanns. So to be determined, but just so you know that that is not completely off the charts. It will happen at some point. Great quality road here. Um, at some point, we will be getting a family car and I will do full videos on it and all that just there's a B BMW X4 that's a thing there's one in front of me I didn't I, I knew about the X6 I knew about the X3 I knew about the X5 but X4 why anyways yeah conclusion on the Lambo it is very 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 nice the Lambo I mean I as you guys know I have a bit of a tree in my car but as you guys know I am a huge fan of Ferrari so the Hurricane, I was always like, it looks and sounds sick, but I was never sure if I would actually like have gotten one myself. Um, obviously, I can't now, but I'm saying theoretically, in a dreamland, if I could, would I get one? And you know what? Like, they are cool, they do look cool, and it sounds sick, and the interior is really nice and everything, but I still think I would rather have a speciality or something, and I know that they're going up in value and everything, but that put aside just the cars themselves, because when they came out, they were around the same prices, I think. Um, I, I just, I'm a huge fan of that 458 model of any type, the 458 Spider, the 458, the normal one, the Coupe, the 458 Speciali, the Speciali Aperta, all of them I absolutely love. So, it's not because I don't like the Huracan, 
that I don't think I would buy one. It's more just because I'm so in love with the 458. So yeah, 488 on the other hand, I'm not 100% convinced. I saw that really nice one um, at the Lamborghini dealership in Cannes. That was in one of my vlogs. That like red one. Oh, gearbox is a bit stiff. So I saw that one and that one did it didn't convince me, but it did make me think like, oh, wait a second, these cars are actually really nice. Uh, I've never seen one driving. Well, that's a lie, I have, but I've never really heard one. Like, when they came past me, they were like just pickling around. So, yes, but when I hear one properly flat out, that will be when my decision is made on whether I like that car or not. And I'm completely just rambling, aren't I? Because I'm by myself in the car and I haven't eaten anything and I'm absolutely starving and slightly cold and the heating in this car isn't great. Although, it, the heating in this car, I know I keep talking about it, once you put it on, it takes a while to heat up, but then when it's hot, it's like boiling hot and because the cabin's so small, it doesn't take long to heat it up, so often you end up going from a freezing cold cabin to a boiling hot one. And the thing is, you need to put the heating on because all of the things you touch in this car, like the gear lever and the handbrake and stuff, are made out of aluminium and aluminium, and they're completely freezing, like in the mornings when you get in the car. It's quite dark because of the lighting here. Shower X4. Give it some now. On this road, which has probably the worst road surface of any road around where I live. Ow, 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 ow. It also doesn't take long to catch up to the person in front of you. I have managed to fix the roof. I'm home and I've managed to fix it so there... Sorry, this was sort of open and there was a huge gap here earlier when I was driving up. You guys probably didn't see it, but there was. And I managed to fix it for the fixing video. Go on to my video that will be coming out either tomorrow or the next day um, to see all of how this roof works and more details about this car. But I'm going to end this vlog now collecting the Lamborghini Huracan. It was a fantastic day. Congratulations to my buddy Donde93. He has a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. He'll be doing loads of videos on his car. And yeah, just fantastic day. So I was very fortunate to go along uh, and it was an amazing experience. So thanks for watching. As per usual, if you aren't already, please remember to subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. And I'll be seeing you very soon. Cheers. Bye. I feel like... What I should do now is give you one of these little artsy compilations of all of the changes that we've done to the car. So, here's a few seconds of artsy stuff.